If you want to mark a student for removal from the final completers list or update a student's exclusions, from the Build Your Worksheet page, select the Review and Update button from the Review and Update Exclusions tile. Here, you can add or remove either of the indicators for Approved Prison Education Program and or Comprehensive Transition and Post-Secondary CTP programs. Although other exclusion types may be added to a student record, such as in-school or disabled indicators, NSLDS only allows the two exclusion types mentioned to be updated via the NSLDS completers list process. By default, the records are displayed by zip code, credential, and then SSN. To make the list easier to work, you can filter by SSN, student name, zip code, credential level, qualifying evaluation period, excluded from rate indicator, exclusion type, or once updated, update type. You can also sort the individual columns in the table. When you review this list, some of the exclusions could already be listed if it was provided by NSLDS, such as completed higher credential program undergrad or grad indicator. To add an exclusion, select one or more records related to an approved prison program, select Update Exclusion Types, select the Approved Prison Education Program Indicator, and then Update Exclusion Types. Do the same process for any CTP programs, but select Comprehensive Transition and Post-Secondary CTP Program Indicator instead. For students you want to have removed from the final completers list, select the students, then select Mark for removal, and confirm you want to remove those students. A student may be removed from the completers list due to an exclusion type, such as the student did not receive aid for that specific program. If you added a student record for removal in error, undo it by going to the Worksheet to be updated in NSLDS tab expanding the row, and select Revert Removal. When finished, select Mark as Complete and confirm you are finished. The button for this section on the Build Your Worksheet page will change to Review. While you can review, no one can make changes to the section. If you add or update an exclusion here or mark a student for removal, you will need to update on the NSLDS site directly. For convenience, there is a link to NSLDS on this page. You can download the Draft Completers list and use the Review and Update Exclusions tab as a reference to make your updates. If a student record is marked for removal, columns B through K will have a green fill. If a student record has been identified with a CTP or Approved Prison Education Program Indicator, Columns J or K will have a green fill.